Okay, almost, almost about to start. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So my office is complete. Like y'all been seeing for the past few videos, the excitement is too real. For the past few videos, I've been changing, chopping and changing my backgrounds and stuff like that. So I think I finally got it. I finally got it. Um, I'm gonna change the stuff in the back. I just moved my stuff from the shelf up there to my background but I want like classy stuff at the back like Jo Malone candles, nice coffee table books and stuff like that and I'm gonna try and be super professional and look there but I really like the situation behind me so I'm quite excited about it. Disclaimer, there's construction outside, yes. Number one, number two, I listened to you guys about using natural light versus my stock of artificial lighting so I much prefer natural light much prefer it um, but I do think I do want um, some studio lights just for days when I really just because natural light you have to chase the day time is not on your side um, and a day like today which is what's happening is this cloud cover so the lighting keeps changing the best sort of lighting is when there's cloud cover but right now it's like intermittent intermi intermittent between cloud cover or no cloud cover so the light's going to chop and change but i'm going to i want this to be as real as possible because the palette much anticipated see, naked heat palette i'm just going to i don't know what eye look i'm going to do i haven't used the palette yet this is a first impressions on the palette itself but i think i'm just going to do all my makeup on the in this video and I'm going to start off with moisturizing my skin. And I'm going to use the Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Glow Moisturizer. I might use this as a primer today. Okay, wait. I haven't moisturized my skin because I took a shower. So I did toner and my serum, but I haven't moisturized it yet. So I think I'm going to moisturize it this. So I'm using the Glam Glow Matte Glow Moisturizer. So happy about my my filming situation now I really felt lost for the past few videos um, I feel like I didn't have an identity because I didn't have a background I haven't been my true self because I just feel like I wasn't happy with my my, my background situation and I keep chopping and changing it but I think I finally got it I think I got it and I'm happy and you guys can see my drawers because that's going to be where my makeup is stored now. I just need to get some like dividers for the drawers and we're going to be a good place. And then I'm going to prime with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. So you guys saw in my vlog, if you haven't watched my vlog. By the way, listen, I'm not happy with the views on my vlog because y'all been pressurizing me. Oh, get a vlogging camera. Oh, please start vlogs. Oh, do this, do that. But you guys are not watching my vlogs. So why am I doing that? You need to watch the vlog and then you can see what I'm up to. <laughs> but anyway, so I went to Smashbox. Um, I went to Johannesburg for the Smashbox Glow, Glam Glow event, which is why I have these two new goodies. And this is the new Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's a primer and moisturizer in one. Video is super professional. I want to go back to attention to detail, as in, as in your girl been gone, your girl hasn't been present, now she's present. Okay, okay, so we're gonna start off with eyeshadow today because I want to do I don't know what look I'm gonna do yet. Let's do foundation and then I'm gonna do eyeshadow, then I'm gonna do concealer and all of that jazz. So, the foundations I'm using today is the next total control drop foundations and I want to try them out again um, I've used them like about two times now if you haven't seen my review for this foundation go and check out my previous video I think it's a previous one otherwise I'll leave a card up here to avoid spillage I'm dropping the oh is this the right shade I'm dropping it on the brush <gasps> is this not the right shade idiot I can't use this brush this is why I'm a fool I took the wrong foundation shade I'm going to be using cappuccino so I'm going to give it a shake and I'm going to do some drops Thank you. 
So I'm, I'm happy to do this foundation again because I did use artificial light with the previous, with the review for it. So I want to do natural light with this foundation. So let's get into the eyeshadow. Um, I'm gonna prime my eyes with my concealer, just the regular old concealer, and I'm using the LA Gold Pro HD Conceal. Okay, the moment of truth. I'm opening the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. There you go. And let's focus on this damn palette. Thank you. There you go. I have not swatched this. I have not done anything with it. So we're about to see it perform. And it comes with a Urban Decay brush like all the other Naked palettes. Are you ready? Oh. Yes. Ooh, look at you. Hey. Okay. I'm just going to dip into Sourced. Ooh. I'm gonna go in with low blow, which is right next to source. I'm gonna put this in our crease. Oh, so pretty, guys. So, obviously, I have a lot of warm palettes, and I really know the kind of looks that I like when it comes to warm palettes. I feel like I should have washed my lashes. That would have been great. Let's get into ooh, Cayenne. I think I'm gonna use Cayenne, which is this shade here. These eyeshadows are so creamy, man. So pretty. So buildable. So easily blendable. I think I want to go in. I want to deepen this a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with En Fuego. I can't pronounce these names, guys. So the eyeshadows are pressed quite differently. I got a bit of fallout from Sourced and a little bit of fallout from Cayenne. I mean, yeah, I got a lot of fallout from Sourced and then. A little bit of fallout from Cayenne. I haven't gotten any fallout from in Virgo. So it's like they're pressed differently. This is slowly becoming similar to my birthday look. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this deeper color, I think it's the darkest color on the palette, which is called Ashes. So it's very deep purple. And we're gonna apply this right in the corner. So the key to blending like smoky eyes and stuff is to go from light to dark. Makes the gradient effect a lot more seamless. Now I'm going to use the Urban Decay brush. I'm using this flat end. And I think I'm going to go in with Scorched. A beautiful rose gold shade here. I'm not going to spritz my brush. I just want to see how pigmented this is. Oh wow, look at that. Today I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Caramel.
This concealer is finished so fast. This is my second concealer. Taking my sponge and I'm just dabbing it. Okay, I'm about to set my concealer with the Laura Mercier powder. So I'm going back in with the Naked palette and I want to do the bottom of my eyes. I think I'm going to start off with Cayenne. We're sort of just like repeating the steps we took above. Then I'm going to go in with Ashes which is the very deep purple we have going on. Just on the outside and on the inside. Then we're going to take Scorched, we're just mimicking the halo eye. I'm going to go ahead and wipe away the excess powder. We're going to powder it onto a now. Today I'm using my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette and I'm going to use my MAC 1, oh the rub, number rubbed off, I think it's 163. Let me shake I'm going to add some blush, today I'm going to use MAC Spring Sheen in Sheer Tone, what? MAC Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush in Spring Sheen. So we're just going to do mascara and I'm using the my new fave Elizabeth Arden Lasting Impression Mascara, I really like this mascara. By the way guys, it's Women's Day. Happy Women's Day. But you're obviously going to see this tomorrow. I really love this mascara. I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. Lengthens my non-existent lashes. my blush can you so I can add on another one this is the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 hour powder blush in score I just saw the orange I don't think I've opened this yet oh this broke I don't want to tilt it too much Don't worry, the whiteness will disappear. But that was really reckless of me to drag it down my lid. Am I keeping this makeup on the whole day? I think so. Guys, are y'all in my comments? Because first of all, there are two girls who commented on my on my videos who I watch, who I freaking love, and I haven't seen commented back or shouted them out back yet um, and I want to shout them out in this video and I know they don't watch my videos like that but you know maybe they happen to stumble upon my videos and then they happen to comment on it the first one is Ronke Raji okay the blending queen blending boss like someone told her I had been raving about her I think it is within my contouring video my highlights and contouring video and she comments on my video saying that someone was telling her I was talking about her I love her so much I can't believe she commented on my video 
Yeah, she commented on my video. Did she comment on my Instagram? I think she commented on my Instagram as well. I'm not too sure. And then another girl who I love is Uche Tori, another Nigerian girl. And she commented on my video, my birthday video. So yeah, I love those girls when they commented on my shit. What? Let me do highlighter. So the highlighter I'm using today, I want to try the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter in Sin. It's a bit light. I hope it's not chalky. Oh wow. Look at that. I'm gonna go in with this real slow. Real slow. down to by the bottom of my nose because the bottom of my nose is very brown my nose is the shape of a tomato so if I put highlight here which I've realized it just makes this look so much bigger so I'm just putting it on the bridge and that's all where I'm putting it going back into naked heat I'm gonna put something in my inner corner so I think I'm gonna go in with the color that I tried to go over my halo with which is called Lumber Lambre Lambre. And I'm just putting this in the inner corner here. Oh, so subtle, so pretty, so freaking pretty. I'm just trying new makeup in this video, and I like it. I have with me. Because it's Women's Day and I'm supporting a woman boss who I love and um, we met when she came to Cape Town, Connie Transform. She gave me so many liquid lipsticks and I feel so bad that I haven't featured them on my channel yet. So with this video I was like, I am going to feature her lipsticks come how or high water. So here we are. Okay, Connie, boo, I got you. I got you. With my new background, <laughs> I'm an idiot. So, I love Ego. I love Ego so much. <sighs> Let me do Ego because if I go a plum color, then this will be my birthday look. So let me go Ego and I'm going to use my, I wanna use chestnut. So I'm gonna use Connie Transform Ego and I'm gonna use my MAC the pencil in chestnut. Guys, where am I gonna go after this? Someone let me know! Someone let me know, please. Let me know if you want me to do a lip swatch video on all of Connie's lipsticks because she gave me all of them. Oh, so pretty. That's ego. So pretty. <gasps> okay, we're gonna set this face, and I'm using the Evan Decay D Slick setting spray. Came on in and shook up my life. 